guys, welcome back to the wonderful world of Minecraft. And I have some seriously bad news. Um, <clears throat> I went caving, and I brought my, you know, my Young Breaking Three Diamond Pick. Um, I also took the two Silk Touch picks I had because the Iron One was almost running out, and I took the Diamond One with me to get some more, you know, some more ores. I just wanted, you know, really stock up, get my Diamond count going up a bit. So I did all that, and unfortunately when I was getting my c a couple more diamonds, I broke a block and fell into lava. So I actually lost all of that, and I lost the armor set, which is not a big issue because we have a lot of iron anyway. So I've just made a complete new set. We still had this enchanted bow, so that's cool. Obviously we've been stuck. We got these from the zombie spawner, so I didn't have to make them either. I'm going to keep this because this is, uh, unless we get better stuff, because I'm about to go and enchant all this off camera for you. Um, unless we get better stuff to replace this with, this is still going to be our main set. And I'm still taking that to the end when we go, which I'm hoping to build up very, very soon. So I'm going to spend the next sort of 20 minutes, half an hour, just grinding at this spawner. And I'll see you when, you know, I've... I've got everything that I want to, to be enchanted, so that'll be pick, sword, and the armor pieces. So I'll see you in a little while. Alright guys, and considering um, how long this is taking, I think I'm only going to do the pick. I mean, nothing else is really that important. It'll be a lot easier to do once we've got the ender ender. So, just for now, I'm going to do this pick. Um, so, just sort of do this. Get one, get get one that looks pretty cool. That looks really awesome. So, let's see what we get. Silk touch and unbreaking. Okay, looks like we're going to be taking a normal pick with us as well, because that's going to get very annoying to use the whole time. So, yeah, um, I'm actually today. I want to do a Nether project, our first proper Nether build. So. And for it, it requires a lot of wool. Now, luckily, we have, you know, a good amount of wool, and it's pretty easy to farm. So we're gonna head on over there. I'm also going to make a crap ton of stone picks, because you know, just for the Nether. For uh, clearing large amounts of netherrack, it's just stone is just easier and cheaper and stuff like that. So I don't think I have any food going, any decent food to use. I managed to get these from the. Oh yeah, I have this. That's good. Okay, managed to get a carrot and a potato from the zombies, so we don't have to go farm for any of that. So I will see you over in the Nether. Okay, and we are in the nether. Welcome to the little nether base. I can't even remember what we have in here. Not too bad, not too bad. I do know that... Oh, uh, use the wrong pick then. I do know that we want to make the tree farm over here, which we will do eventually, but I would really like to clear out some of this area and actually get some food growing out here in the nether. Now, I've got this sort of idea from... I don't know how many of you know... Um, Good Boulderfist from the Minecraft server. Um, he actually has a uh, melon and pump his melon and pumpkin farm in the Nether. Actually, I need to keep this wall here, and it looks really, really nice. And I really would like to do something along those lines. So this is what we're going to do here. Just going to clear out a nice area. It's not going to be too massive because uh, at the moment, just you know. It's something that you want to expand on. I definitely don't have the wall to get it to the level I want it to right now. Um, la 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 la, what am I thinking? So yeah, it's going to be down here at this level. I'll finish that off when I get there. So yeah, I'm going to clear out a little bit of a room here and I will see you when I've got it to a size I like. Alright guys, welcome back. So this is what I have dug out. Um, basically, I need to dig out another layer of the floor and another layer on the edge, but I'll get to that when I put in the walls. Now, basically I'm going to go back to the our main house, and I'm going to 
um, grab some of the grass blocks we managed to pick up and a load of dirt and I'm going to do the bottom. Now the idea of these, um, I have two ideas. The This portal is going to stay like this, um, but the portal in the overworld is going to be in a nether room. So it will be lots and lots of nether brick, a couple of fires on the floor, some um, a uh, nether rack, obviously, and a l small lava stream to make it look really cool. So the equivalent of doing it here is I'm going to have my um, farm here look like the overworld. Now the only way you can do that is obviously you can get grass in here, that's not a problem at all, that will spread and grow. But the walls and stuff, you have to design them, you know, yourself. And the best way to do that, it looks really cartoony, but it looks awesome is using colored wool. So you can have um, light blue along the top on like a two or three layer thick strip. Actually it'd probably be down to here on blue and then you can put in some wool trees and then you can have you know green down here for grass and wool trees and the sun and a couple of clouds if you wanted to. It would look really really awesome so that's what I'm gonna aim for. Um, I'm gonna this will probably be sped up, so um, it'll be sped up from when I get back here with the grass, and then with, with when with when I have the wall. So you can see me build it, and I will see you at the end of the build. Let's go.
Alright guys, welcome back. So this is what I have so far. Um, uh, I'm really happy with the way it looks. Um, it really doesn't look like it should be in the nether, which is awesome. It's exactly how I wanted it to look. I'm really not sure what to do with the roof. Um, the grass is slowly getting there. It will get there a little faster. Um, and there will be two tunnel, a uh, channel, a little channel here for pumpkins, a little channel here for melons, a little channel here for potatoes, carrots. They're the four things I'm going to grow here. So, and obviously you've got the sun up there. It's not the best looking sun, but it's possibly the best you can do with the wool. Um, the little trees. So yeah, I'm really happy with the way it looked, where the way it came out. Um, I've got a really good idea for here. It's going to have a w that's that will be filled in, which I'll actually do now because I'm going to go and get the stuff to do this now. Wood trim um, all the way round. Um, uh, glass, big glass window, big, gla big glass window, open archway, two sets of wooden stairs, and you walk straight down into it. I think that will look really good. Oh, I got rid of that stone pick. So yeah, I'll quickly go grab that stuff and I'll meet you back here. Alright guys, welcome back. Now I seriously have no idea what's going on with, my, with me lately. I do, I, for some reason I just cannot think straight. Um, I, things that are so menial and easy for other people to realise, I'm just not realising until the last minute. Um, the farm I'm actually doing, as you can see, this is this looks really nice. I actually really really like this. The farm that this is actually designed after was done back when you could use water in the Nether using ice. Now, if you remember correctly, that was in 1.2, I believe you could use Silk Touch on ice. No, sorry, it was 1.1. You could use Silk Touch on ice, and you could melt it in the nether. As long as you melted it, well no, or you could break it I don't know why I keep doing this, I have a silk touch pick anyway um, you could get water in the nether then in 1.2.5 they removed it so you could not get ice with a silk touch pick then in 1.3 they brought back the fact that you could get ice with a silk touch pick but removed it from the nether so you cannot actually get perfectly tilled soil in the nether so my farm idea is completely useless now which is annoying but it's not the end of the world um, we have this nice room here in the nether which we can use for something I don't know what we're going to use it for yet but you know I'm liking it I really do like this room God knows what we'll use it for but there you go we might actually, I might actually move the nether portal to the end of it so then it's reversed, so when you come through here, you're in the overworld until you get out here. And then when you go back in, you're in another room. So yeah, I might do that. So this build wasn't completely useless. But there you go, this is the one for today. Um, leave. Com I would like to, for you guys to leave comments of what you think I should replace the roof with. Um, I do not like it as nether brick. It needs to be nether rack, sorry. It needs to be something else. Whether I just go glowstone, or would you like more blue wool? Let me know in the comments. Um, let me know what you guys want to see. So, guys, I will see you in episode 29, I believe. I believe this is episode 28 or 27, one or the other. I cannot remember. My mind is all over the place. I just wanted to get one of these videos out for you guys. So, there you have it, and I'll see you next time.